Hey guys, welcome back to What to Watch Wednesday. I'm Jake Yoder, the city editor for The Daily Beacon, and I'll be taking you on a weekly guide of all the new stuff coming to movie theaters each week. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. With February coming to an end, releases have slowed down. Only one major release is coming to theaters this week, though the release of two slightly more niche films round the week out. The previously mentioned major release coming to theaters is Blumhouse's remake of Universal's horror classic The Invisible Man. Out of all the old school Universal horror films, the original Invisible Man definitely holds up the best. So when I saw they were remaking it, I was cautiously excited. Trapped in a violent, controlling relationship with a wealthy and brilliant scientist, Cecilia Cass escapes in the dead of night and disappears into hiding, aided by her sister, their childhood friend, and his teenage daughter. But when Cecilia's abusive ex commits suicide and leaves her a generous portion of his vast fortune, Cecilia suspects his death was a hoax. As a series of eerie coincidences turns lethal, threatening the lives of those she loves, Cecilia's sanity begins to unravel as she desperately tries to prove that she is being hunted by someone that nobody can see. I would be much more excited for The Invisible Man if the trailer hadn't spoiled 90% of the plot. Though the film still looks intriguing and will probably make an exciting psychological thriller when it comes to theaters this Friday. Now onto the more niche stuff. One of the biggest anime slash manga series of the past 10 years comes to the big screen this weekend with My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. In the film, Deku and the rest of the heroes of Class 1A must save a group of islanders from a powerful villain. And yeah, that's all we've been given plot-wise without delving into spoilers. Sounds ominous. While we aren't sure yet when the movie takes place in the My Hero canon, it looks to be set during the events that are currently happening in the manga. This means that if you don't want any spoilers for the anime, you might want to steer clear of this one. Though seeing as how the movies are only sort of canon, one can probably watch the film without getting any major spoilers. All fans of this series can see the film when it comes to theaters this Wednesday. The final film opening in theaters this weekend is Once Were Brothers, Robbie Robertson and the Band. Once Were Brothers is a confessional, cautionary, and occasionally humorous tale of Robbie Robertson's young life and the creation of one of the most enduring groups in the history of popular music, the band. The film is a moving story of Robertson's personal journey, overcoming adversity and finding camaraderie alongside the four other men who would become his brothers in music and who together made their mark on music history. Once Were Brothers blends rare archival footage, photography, iconic songs, and interviews with many of Robertson's friends and collaborators, including Bruce Springsteen, Eric Clapton, Van Morrison, Martin Scorsese, Peter Gabriel, Taj Mahal, Dominique Robertson, Ronnie Hawkins, and many more. Anyone who considers themselves a music nerd or a fan of Robbie Robertson will no doubt want to catch this interesting documentary when it comes to indie theaters this Friday. While it might be more of a niche weekend, this is a great opportunity to get out there and experience something new whether it be horror, anime, or a music documentary. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.